guys, it's Kim Dao here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I am leaving Osaka, but before I do, I want to head down to USJ one more time to take some pictures in this kind of toned down Harry Potter outfit. So I wore this when I was in Korea. I'm just wearing this dark grey top, this skirt I got on yesterday, my Harry Potter scarf, knee high socks from Unicolor, and then I've got this ribbon that I got yesterday at USJ. I think it's so cute, so I really wanted to take some more photos in it. So it is now like almost 10.30 a.m. So I'm going to go down and stay there for maybe half an hour then leave just because I have to check out of this hotel by 12. If I can get back here by 11.15ish, that would be good. So I can um, get all of my stuff together, pack, then head to Shin Osaka for the bullet train. You guys might be wondering why I'm going back to USJ again when I was there yesterday and a few days ago. And that's because I bought the one year pass, which means that I can go into USJ whenever I want when they are open. So I might as well make the most of it, right? Because today is also a Monday and it's the first day that everyone goes back to work and school, it should be more quiet so I think I can get some good photos at the Hogwarts castle hopefully so let's go now I'm just gonna bring a small backpack I bought this tripod that Sunny got for me because Nat has gone off to Korea now she left this morning Universal Studios Japan where dreams and fantasy come to life all tickets other than the annual studio pass are for one time use only okay so if you leave the park I am in now. Okay, so now I'm gonna head off to Harry Potter quickly. Compared to the previous days, it's so quiet. It would have definitely been better if we were able to go to USJ today instead of like on the Friday, because on the Friday, that was the busiest I've ever seen USJ. I think everyone had the same idea because I thought going on a weekend would be busier. So I thought going on a Friday, because it's a weekday, it might be less busy. But it turns out maybe everyone had that same idea. The park was absolutely full with people. And on Sunday, which was yesterday, it was quiet, so quiet compared to Friday. It's super sunny right now, so I don't know if it would be good for photos, but I'm going to try and go to one of my favourite photo spots to see if anyone's there. You know what I realised? This is the first time I am in the Harry Potter area without wearing my full costume. I'm going to buy another butterbeer and then sit down there and take some photos, then go to the restaurant area. I just took a bunch of photos. Oh, I love them. Yeah, that's better. And then I took pictures with Butterbee as well. This is what happens, guys, when I take photos. I just took like, I don't know, maybe about 100. <laughs> and then I pick like one photo out of all of them. But yeah, I'm taking photos by myself using this tripod and I use this remote control to take photos because I'm by myself. But see, even if you're by yourself, you can still take photos. I'm gonna move somewhere else and head off because it's 11.06 right now. All right, it is now 11.15, time schedule. So I'm gonna rush back to the hotel now. Should get back there by 11.25. And then pack all my stuff. We shouldn't take too long because I've packed up almost everything. I just have to change my clothes, put all that into the suitcase, then check out of the hotel. So convenient, staying right next to USJ. Anyway, I still got my bottle beer. This is like, the fourth butter beer I've had in the last few days and I'm so sick of it. Like it tastes good but it's something that you can only have once in a while. It's just really sugary. This Hello Kitty! I've got my butter beer. Let's go! Back in the hotel, it's 11.29, so it's time to pack. It is 11.56, bags are packed, so let's head off. Goodbye, USJ. I just got my ticket for the bullet train. It leaves in 12 minutes. I'm gonna head straight into the platform now. 
They're onto the train and I got myself some lunch. So when you go onto the Shinkansen in Japan, you can get an eki bento, which is like a bento box, which is quite big and luxurious actually. But most of the stuff in there is all seafood and I don't like seafood, so that's why I got one of these sandwiches instead. In the bullet train you can buy food, there are food carts going up and down, but it costs more on the bullet train, so I suggest you buy before you get onto the train to save a couple of dollars. So this one was 750 yen. I actually bought this one last time when I was on the bullet train for like 900 yen. This is the Nozomi Super Express bound to Tokyo. We will be stopping at Kyoto, Nagoya, Shin Yokohama, and Shinagawa stations. back at my friend's place and man I'm so tired so I slept for about an hour on the bullet train so now that I'm back at my friend's place I'm gonna rush off to go to the post office to send back my stuff before I went to Osaka I gave my friend a bunch of my Fukubuk rolls to keep at their place and then I told them once I come back to Tokyo I'm going to ship back the stuff so for those who are wondering if I keep all the stuff in the Fukubuk rolls no I don't I actually only keep like the stuff I like this time around for clothing I only kept like five pieces so I'm gonna ship those things back for the Pokemon Fuku Bukuro I'm actually only keeping the Eevee plushie and a few of the smaller plushies right now it is quarter past four so I'm going to go straight to the post office to send that stuff off for those who are wondering how I ship stuff back I literally just go into the post office um, ask for a box pay for the box write down my details pack the box and set it off and that's it it's just super easy just walk into any post office in Japan and you'll be able to send stuff back after I've done that I need to go to the Origo house because I need to pick up some stuff then head to Shibuya because I want to do some last-minute shopping I want to buy a Polaroid camera because I don't have one yet and I want to have one for my wedding which by the way is next year but I'm just trying to be a bit more organized then I want to go to Big Camera and buy a new memory card. After that, I head off to Montesando to meet my friends to have dinner. But then I also want to head into Burberry because I want to buy a scarf from there. I've been eyeing the scarves for a very long time. Anyway, because I have to uh, pack up the boxes and stuff at the post office, I'm going to head off now. Made it to the Tokyo Creative slash Origo house. I just took the taxi from where I was because it's going to take forever for me to get here by public transport. Oh yeah, I also shipped my stuff back. I shipped back two boxes. Okay. Hey! Okay, I'm at the office and then they put this in front of me. And I ate so many of them. Like, <laughs> so many. What's the purple one? In the box? It says the purple one. It says the purple one. What's that? That's so ambiguous. Um, Omar, what is the purple one? What's the one? purple one? Oh, oh, let's try. Why did you say that? Where did I, check it? Where did I, okay, I need a DR for it. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have finished up at the Tokyo Creative slash Origo house. Now I'm gonna walk to Shibuya. I think it's like a 15 minute walk. I made it to Shibuya. It was like a 15 minute walk. Now, first stop, um, let's go to Don Quixote. Soon. Usually at Don Quixote they sell lots of Polaroid cameras but they sell different cute ones as well. Um, I don't know exactly which one I want to buy. I'm just going to have a look and see what they've got. They're not too fast. It's actually a lot more cold today so I'm finding it difficult to even talk. My face is like frozen. Mega Don Quixote. This is where I'm going. Yes. I just found their Polaroid cameras but the one I wanted isn't there so I'm gonna try and check out maybe Labby which is like an electronic store and because it is electronics in there I might as well just buy my uh, SD card there as well so I can get tax free and then after I might come back to Don Quixote to buy the actual Polaroids at Labby now and unfortunately the cameras I've got are pretty much the same as in Don Quixote but it's more expensive so I'm gonna head back to Don Quixote and get the camera 
but I have this SD card which I'm gonna get, so let's go to the counter. Lower jokes, turns out that it was sold out. So I'm gonna go back to Don Quixote to buy the camera, then I might go to a big camera. Okay. I'm going to get this one and then a few of these films as well. Inside this you have 10 sheets, 2 packs, so 20 of them. I might get 5 of them. Now that I've got myself in Don Quixote, I'm going to go take the train to Harajuku now to meet my friend. I'm going to go into a big camera there to buy the memory cards, go to Daiso to buy some cleaning supplies and then head off to Motosando. I'm at Daiso and I'm picking up a few of these. These are amazing guys, work so well with stains. And I found this hair cleaning sponge thing which I'm gonna get and try out because that looks good. My hair falls out all the time and especially when I have my dog over, it's really handy. There we go. I just got a scarf from Burberry because I've been wanting one for a while and because I've been working really hard this year, or well, last year I mean, it's a treat yourself day for me. I'm gonna go here to have some dinner. Starving. Okay, got our meat. Alright guys, I'm wearing my new scarf because it's really cold right now, but I'm walking back with my friends to their place. I'm so tired. I think the bullet train ride really got to me and I'm just pooped right now. We are actually in front of a Lawson because my friend needs to buy some milk. So I thought that I would catch up with you guys. It's so cold that I can't even talk properly. But anyway, um, today was good. I got all my errands done and I got my last minute shopping done. What I wanted to buy was a Polaroid camera. I also got some film as well. I thought I got some cleaning supplies. So... Yeah, I'm good. Going to pack all this stuff into my suitcase tonight and then go to bed early. Tomorrow I leave at 10pm at night time so i got the whole entire day but I've got a lot of things I want to do. It's mainly a lot of sightseeing for filming so I'm going to try and get like at least four spots done tomorrow. So I'm just going to end this vlog here because I want to sleep straight away as soon as I get home. So thank you so much guys for watching. Really sorry it's a quick vlog but tomorrow I will try and um, show you more things because it's going to be kind of sightseeing and places that I've never been to before. So see you guys next time. Bye guys!